Hi! What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I'm still alive. Did you miss me? No? Okay, that's alright. I don't blame you. Suntory. The premium malts of the malt because there's an apostrophe. So I don't know. Anyway, it's beer. For the last, um, I don't know, a few weeks, I've had a few opportunities to make a video talking about pickups or thoughts or this or that. And I've been too tired because I haven't had a day off in that much time. I don't know, this month basically. And uh, also, if I felt like I had the energy to do something, it was something else. This is a Japanese copy of Uncharted 4. Which, they don't call Uncharted 4 here. That kind of irritates me. It's just Uncharted something something. A Thief's End. But uh, I like the numbers because it helps me to keep it straight. Like Harry Potter. No numbers. I'm always trying to remember which came after the other. and Whatever. Not always. Sometimes. Uh, and before that, um, well, especially when I didn't have much energy, I was watching this. I watched the first two seasons on Netflix, I guess. And then, for whatever reason, I don't have... The five seasons after that so I bought <laughs> the DVD set um, whatever I, I don't think there is a blu-ray set yet and I like a set and plus it's a TV show and I'm, I'm okay with it just being on DVD and my camera thingy is wiggling I have my iPad set up on um, well it's it's in a case with a keyboard like it, well I can show you the other one I took it out of hold on a second give you a close-up of my sh <laughs> what sound is that my metal slug shirt i got this when i bought i think an snk collection or something on steam it's the first time to wear it exclusive you saw it here so this is the one i'm using now this is kensington i still have an ipad air original of course i want a pro but i'm i'm being strong and resisting temptation to upgrade i have the ipad 2 as well it's back there on top of stuff but right now you turn it on and you just it's just an apple mark so i don't know what's up with that but anyway it's a stand kind of like this, but this top part rotates, and it's got a like a tight hinge or whatever, so I can turn it around and get a better angle. Anyway, I just took it out of the garbage can to use it because I had been using it in the bathtub like a month ago. Got too much water on it. Yeah, some splishy splash. And some of the buttons didn't work after that. Oh, that's a new dismount technique. Uh, usually he goes that way. But, uh, he just came straight on. You alright there, buddy? <laughs> he looks like he's alright. Anyway, uh, this is just gonna be rambling, and I, I gotta upload it, because I've made at least two, if not three or four, videos, and then not uploaded them, because I watched them and I was bored. Or they were just too long for what I actually covered. I'll try to be somewhat fast. This one will have jump cuts, because I don't have everything ready that I'm gonna show. I don't even know what I'm gonna show. I don't even remember what I bought, so... I don't know. I want to try to look at the camera, which is there. Right, so this is my new secret weapon. I discovered earlier that if I really make a lot of noise with this, it freaks the white cat out big time. Like He was just literally, literally bouncing off the walls, trying to find any way to escape from the wrath of the plastic bag. Uh, I felt bad, because I didn't, you know, I didn't think he was going to go that nuts. I was just like, is this scaring you? And he's like, Wah! right? So we might get to test it sooner than I thought. The other cat's now on the table. Checking out, uh, I don't know what. Hey, buddy, scary plastic bag. You might want to get off the table. Yeah, scary. It's scary. He's not scared. Wrong cat. Maybe it has to be a gray bag. The other cat's like, anyway. Wow, look at that. That, that is well earned, you know? 39 going on 40 years of hard work to get that. And I didn't really start drinking until... I still don't really drink. <laughs> okay, there we go. Too much rambling. Um, I'll show you what I've got right here to show you. I already showed you this. I may as well talk about PS4 Uncharted for a bit. <sighs> months and months ago, many moons ago, I pre-ordered the... Wow, it's shaky. Stop shaking. The PlayStation 4 console. The American one. Because I wanted an American PlayStation 4 Uncharted Edition. Not long after that, and even then thinking I'll probably cancel it, but I might as well pre-order it. And then, uh, 
the news of the PS4 Neo, they're calling it now, came out. Um, I think PS4K makes more sense, but whatever. And I thought, well, that's dumb. I shouldn't buy it. Then I should just wait. If I'm going to buy another PS4, I might as well get the upgraded one. So I went to cancel my pre-order for the Nate edition of the PlayStation 4, and Amazon wouldn't let me cancel it because I supposedly had ordered it as part of a package deal, and that other half of the package had already shipped, or some nonsense like that that's probably illegal, but not really, because there's a loophole. I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't cancel. There's nothing I could do. So I could try to sell it, or I could keep it, or I could send it back and, you know, pay the shipping. I'm just going to keep it. I'll probably open it, and uh, I've thought about it. I don't think it's going to be like a huge collector's item, because there are a lot of them. I'll probably open it and use it in the game room. That'll be my game room PS4. And that'll be that. I was going to wait to play the American version of this because the first three had some censoring in Japan, like the blood and stuff. Minor, very minor, but just like no blood, if nothing else. Maybe nothing else. And it was console-based. So, I mean, if you put the game in a Japanese console, even if it was an American game, no blood. I don't know. I mean, I'm playing it and I don't even care. I don't notice that. That's not why I'm playing the game, you know, so I can see blood. And that way I only have to um, install the game or whatever parts of the game I need to install once. And my wife and I take turns playing it. Here's the back, I guess, if you want to see that. Um, I could do a case by case, but that's getting ahead of myself. Right, because the console, I have it upstairs. I haven't opened it. It, it came with an actual disc version, the, the kind of standard uh, American version. And then on top of that, because I, you know, had decided already I was going to cancel the PS4, I ordered the... Uh, the special edition American version because I wanted the big Nate statue and the stuff that comes with it and I wanted uh, the American version of the game and I don't know how the timeline works anyway so I ended up with all that stuff I have the headphones as well and I have the book there right there that's the book and I haven't used it because I want to play for the first time without worrying about trophies and stuff I just want to enjoy the game and if I play it again in the future, then I'll look the, use the book and, you know, try to discover stuff. But I'm ahead of my wife. I, I purposely played it for quite a few hours straight so I could get ahead of her because I don't like watching her play when she's doing stuff that I haven't done yet, if that makes sense, right? Um, but when she's home, basically, she gets to play and I watch. So when she's gone, like tonight, that's when I play. But tonight, you, that's right, you get priority over this guy. And his brother. <laughs> Spoilers! Right? Uh, yeah, so there's that. That's out of the way. Mentalist. I guess I should do a quick mini review of this. Loved it. I thought his performance... Uh, performance. I thought he was really good. Um, I like the writing. Of course, there are times when it's just too over the top. It's like, okay, dude, there's no way you can know that. It's kind of Sherlock Holmesy. I mean, basically, this guy pretended to be a psychic. Some stuff happened. I don't want to spoil it for you. If you haven't seen it, you want to try it. Um, and then he ends up helping out the California Bureau, Bureau of Investigation, which is like a California FBI, using his not actually psychic powers, which he acknowledges, like from the get-go, right? Episode one. But he's a mentalist, which means he uses his profound knowledge and experience with the human psyche and stuff to basically just know what's up and he, he asks good questions and it's good um yeah but like i said sometimes it's just it's too much it's too far-fetched but it's very it's enjoyable it was relaxing i really enjoyed watching it and i just i i had a problem of oh, one more just one more so i don't regret buying this um it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it i wish that it had japanese subtitles because my wife can't watch it well she can watch it but she wouldn't know what's going on really should understand some. Anywho, so there's that and that. Yay. What's near me that I can show you? I went to Hard Off, I think t only twice. I don't remember since the last time I really showed anything, but I bought this bag and I'm not really sure why. I just thought it looked like it was in really good shape. I smelled it. It smells really new and leathery. I like the, the look of it, but it's a bit big, a bit bigger than what I would normally carry around but at the same time I, w I will use it like when I travel and stuff especially for like overnight trips or something I don't know it's made in Italy 100% leather 
it's diesel, which in Japan they say diesel. Uh, and I like I like this kind of look for the back. It's just like I said, it's a bit big. I'm at the very upper end of the age demographic for diesel, but whatever. I have some watches, and I have this bag now, which it smells so leathery and lovely. Uh huh. So, but it was super cheap because I bought it at Hard Off. But it was still, you know, I mean, it wasn't like super cheap. It was just compared to what it cost new, it was wicked cheap. And then inside this bag, there's some games. I don't remember. Because it was probably a month, coming up on a month ago that I bought them. So let's discover together what's in this bag. I don't think it's going to be that exciting. Um, these are some PS3 sports games for about a buck each, about a dollar. I bought these, I don't know why, because they were a dollar. Um... And if I don't have them, then I'll put them in a bundle with something and sell them eventually, probably. Or if I have one, maybe I'll put them in the other house so that I can play old soccer or old baseball games. You never know when you're going to have a hankering for a baseball or a soccer game. I don't care if they're new or not. I don't even know the names of these people. Apparently, I bought a Green Day CD for a dollar. There you go. Warning. Uh huh. Warning. Blood, sex, and booze. Church on Sunday. Fashion victim. Cast for me. Uh -huh. yeah. Huh, I had a time when I liked Green Day quite a bit. I still like them better than Weezer. I used to love Weezer, but then they sound exactly the same. This is Tomodachi Correction. I've had a lot of my students talk about playing this. I don't know the details, but I think you like make profiles. Tomodachi ya kazoku no mi o toroku. So it looks like you can save their. I guess you must have it in the U.S. and Western places. You can put their mi. Or maybe you make a new me. It looks like you say, actually make it on here like you would on a Wii. And then you make their profiles, like their birthday and that kind of stuff. And it, I don't know, you just have like a little collection. It looks like there's little mini games and stuff. I don't know, it was a dollar. So I thought I'd play around with it. Should be pretty accessible Japanese, I would think. What is this? <laughs> That's cool. This is a Sony memory card for the original PlayStation, but it's in the little box. And I bought that for a dollar because I've never seen this little box. What are you doing, cat? He's gone. Just don't freak out like you did before. I'm trying to open it without damaging the box because I really bought it for the box. Okay, so inside the box was, is, ha, 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 classic. That's awesome. So the <laughs> there's still the manual, right? And then, it doesn't actually have the memory card in it. Somebody took out the memory card and just sold the box. So I bought a memory card case and an empty box. <laughs> I don't care. It was a dollar. I'm, I like that little box. <laughs> okay. Ooh, more PS3 games. Looks like more sports games. I gave you the reasons. So these are more winning 11 games. 2009, 2010, and 2012. Discs are in decent condition, presumably. I don't know. Why not, you know? Like, for five bucks, you have like a whole collection of sports games on a 1080p console. In some cases, maybe even 60 frames per second. I don't know. And I have a PS3 at the other house, so... Might as well have a little bit of a game library there. I'm not trying to go nuts, but, you know. Okay, here's a couple PS... This is nuts. PS2 games. This is Biohazard Code Veronica Konzen Bomb. And I'm, I'm sure I have this, but this was in such minty condition. I don't know why it was in the junk, but it, it was a dollar. And it's still got the, the postcard and, and everything, right? It's in good shape. It's got the Devil May Cry uh, demo disc, I think it was. And even the case hardly, well, it's not perfect, but it's in pretty decent shape. All right, so, and I think I was just happy to be a hard off and find something decent. This I bought because it's just ridiculous. Um, ridiculous is important sometimes in life. I mean, the happy kind of silly kind of ridiculous, not the I can't believe you stole $20,000 from me and you're blaming me kind of ridiculous. But that's another story. Um, so this is uh, Space... What is this? Space Venus starring Morning Musume, which is... A, is... Was, maybe? Maybe still is. I don't know. I don't follow J-pop, really. Band. Female. Band. And, uh, I don't know, it's, 
looks like it might be a rhythm game or not at all. I have no clue, actually. What is a dollar? And I thought, this is funny. I'm going to try this. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a Japan exclusive, people. You know you want it. I actually saw it the other day. I was like, wait a minute, I think I have that. This game is actually really good. If you don't have this game on the PS2, it's not expensive. I would recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is Everybody's Tennis. I think that's what it's called. Maybe it's Hot Shots. Yeah, Hot Shots Tennis in the U.S. and Everybody's Tennis in the Pal Territories. I think that's right. But they make my favorite golf game, and this is tennis, and it's really good. Um, a lot of fun. One dollar. For a while, this game was uh, holding its value in Japan, 20 bucks or so, but no longer. Now that it's two generations ago, next we have... Oh, yes. This is another one that held its value for a while, and maybe it still does, because I bought these at Hard Off out of the jump in. This is Extermination. I want to say this is a third-person shooter, and you're running away from and obviously trying to exterminate some kind of creatures. There might be a classic game room review of this. I don't know, but I was on a kick where I was buying uh, Japanese games that I felt like the Japanese wouldn't get in the way too much on the PS2. And this is one on my list, but it was always $20. I didn't want to pay $20 for it. But a dollar? That I can do. Next. What are you? Huh. <laughs> I'm 90% sure that Luke Morse has a review game, not more gameplay with talking of this game on his channel, Maximo. And this is Capcom. It's kind of ghouls and ghosts, but in 3D. Uh, I don't know, not really. I don't want to call it ghouls and ghosts, but it's of that ilk. Is something. It's not bad. For a dollar, it's great. Next is a 3DS game. Why? Man. I think maybe I knew. Or maybe not. I'm, I think I bought this empty on purpose because I have a Kingdom Hearts game with no case. This is just an empty case. And I don't care about this series. I don't even... It's taken Inazuma Irebu. It's some kind of like anime, manga, something, soccer. Anyway, I'm going to use this case and print a label and put that Kingdom Hearts game in it, maybe. Or not. Did I really pay a dollar for this? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it was less than a dollar. There's no price tag. And last in this bag is Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty PlayStation 2 Mega Hits. I don't know for sure why I bought this. I know that I have it. Again, it might have just been, okay, seriously? A dollar? I'm buying that. What? Well, this has a receipt in it from June 15th. Here we go. This is fun. This person's like me. I, I often will keep the receipts in the, with the game like this. This person paid two, sorry, 1480 yen for this game in 2007. June. So nine years ago, because it's June in a few days. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I got it for a dollar, so yay me. I don't know. Okay, and that's uh, that's that. This bag also, and then nothing else. So yay, that's... Now I remember what I bought. You can see the inside of the bag if you want. There's a lot of room for stuff. It smells so good. I like to sniff it. Oh, and you can move the bottom around. It's uh, really sturdy, thick leather, so that means it's heavy, but it's also... Yeah, cats are going to probably want to go ahead and get inside of that now. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I've been forgetting to bring my... Brink? Drink? Brink, my dear. Yeah. 19 minutes. Well, I showed some stuff anyway. That... Okay, let's do one of those... Well... Hmm. You see that black Xbox 360? That came today in this big box. I paid $80, including shipping, and I got that. It's only 20 gigabytes, so I've already ordered a memory, but it's an American. I got it from a Japanese seller, but it's an American 360 uh, S, so the second, not the newest model. That blue one is the newest one, but the same model with r 2 d has kind of got the V shape on the front. Ah, but it's only 20 gigabytes, and then he sent, well, I'll show you the games he sent. And then three wireless white controllers, one with the plug-and-play charging pack, and one wireless black controller and a keypad, and the earphones. 
what else? Oh, and an arcade stick, which I'll show you. And then all these, the cords to plug it in to component, not HDMI, but like I don't have an extra HDMI cable. So let me get that stuff ready, maybe some other stuff. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Like it in there? <laughs> it wasn't even a minute after I put the bag down. He was in there. That's amazing. Those are my socks. That's cardboard from this box that I was talking about that the Xbox came in. Because he likes to, like, eat cardboard. Or is it packing tape? I don't know. Alright, so, quickly, I told you about the controllers. You know what a 360 controller looks like? Four of them, plus the, the keypad that plugs into it, or onto it, and the, the, the plug and pay, play. play. So, some disc-only games, these are all American games too, so anytime to, I find that in Japan, it's exciting for me. I have, I think, all of these. Maybe one I don't have. I don't care. Halo Wars, just disc. Again, this will be perfect for the other house. I actually don't have this, uh, I think, on the, on the Xbox 360 Battlefield 3. This is the Halo Anniversary, which mine is the Japanese one, so don't think that matters, but okay. Playing with the box. Rock Band 2. Forza 2, Halo 3, Tales of Vesperia, hopefully that was just a one game, yeah, one disc game, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, I might not have had, uh, <laughs> this is the other disc, the single player campaign disc, which is more important for me, Battlefield 3, and then some like internet connection crap I think you just forgot to take out. And this case, woohoo! And then with their boxes, Halo 4, Halo Reach, and I'm actually kind of happy to have this because it has Richard Sherman on it. Uh, and he's a Seattle Seahawk, Madden 15. It's better with Connect, apparently. I don't know, I'll have to try that, I guess. I think I have the the current-gen version of this game, but, so, right? And then uh, this arcade stick, which is a Mad Cats one, I usually go with Hori, but because it was in a package for 80 bucks, you know, I mean, this was probably 80 bucks when it was new. Obviously, the 360 was a lot more than that. The games, I mean, it's a really good deal for 80 bucks shipped, right? Shipped. 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 So this is a 360 controller, and it's funny because the other day, yes, not yesterday, the other day when I went to Hard Off, I found a Death Smiles Special Edition controller, which is a bit bigger and I think probably nicer than this. Maybe not. Yeah, no, it was bigger and nicer. And I kind of wanted it because, you know, it's a shoot 'em up but it was just munted a little bit, and it was missing the this thing. And um, there was nothing in the box, like no manual or anything, so... I mean, it's an arcade stick, so I'm kind of okay with that because it's for, it's a stick. But I don't know; it just it wasn't in that great a condition, so I let it go. It wasn't that great of a deal. If it'd been considerably cheaper, sure. Okay, now I can't get the stupid thing back on. There we go. Okay, so that's what came today. Um, and then I've got more crap to show you. There's endless, endless, because I mean, this is something that I do a lot. Anyway, but I'll try to keep it from getting too long, maybe. Yeah, I think they're taking turns. Um, I don't know what's up with that. He's attacking the box. Get it. Yeah, get it. Get that box. Get it. There's, uh, they like just to get in the boxes, and there's like the controllers and stuff in it, but it's turned upside down, so they wouldn't get in it. Um, I don't care. But if he gets it, pushes it too far, it's going to go down the stairs, and <laughs> the controllers are going to go bouncing down the stairs. <laughs> anyway, he's just watching. Oni! Oni, say bye. We think that he knows his name now. We're very proud. Oni, Oni, good boy. Wow, just a bunch of stuff. Okay, stop that. <sighs> um, and this is months and months of things, and there are more. There are more, but I just I'm not gonna show everything. I'm showing it as I think of it, basically, and if it's not too much of a pain in the ass to get. Um, so I. Probably will do a video soon. I'm not going to promise that. 
But I, I'm not, it's somewhere else, it's in another room. I found a Super Famicom for a dollar with no hookups, it was untested, it's pretty dirty. But I bought it and I'm going to clean it up and plug it in and see, see if it works. And at the same time, assuming it works, and if it doesn't I'll still try it with another one, I'm going to try this guy out. This is a Hori, Hori Super Famicom Arcade Stick. Now I have this same stick, but it's been, it's different, like it has, it doesn't have the Famicom colored buttons and the, the stick needs some work. This one's ready to go, I think. There's a bit of give, but it's actually pretty good. I mean, it clicks, well, it needs some, anyway, it's good. It's, this is probably, if it works, the best arcade stick I've got for the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. And that means it will work on anything that I can plug in, I believe, to my um, Retron 5, which now I love, because I have a newer TV that has a game mode that actually gets rid of enough of the lag, that, or the input lag, that it's not an issue. So I use that a lot. My wife's happy because I don't have a bunch of old consoles hooked up constantly in the living room. And if I want to play them on a CRT, I do it upstairs, you know. But yeah, so, yay. Anyway, this was, sorry, this was like $8.00. And these things have a problem, they get a bit rusty on the sides. Um, doesn't affect the functionality. Anyway, I'm looking forward to plugging this sucker in and giving it a whirl. And I love it that it has the Famicom colored buttons. Mine to match the switches. My other one has kind of boring colored buttons, but anyway. And now that I have two, I can play with somebody for one thing. And also, this stick, I can compare the other one to make that one like this one. Yay. So hopefully it works, but yeah, eight bucks, that's a, that's a deal, because the other one that I bought uh, was, I want to say 30 or something like that, in similar condition, but as I said, the stick is kind of sticky, actually. Uh, on the Super Famicom stuff, I don't think there's any games that I just bought recently in here, I just put the games in it, because I wanted to have games in it, but I bought this uh, display slash storage case for eight games. Because it's really cool looking, and I didn't have one. Super Famicom, Super Mario World, and so I put Super Mario World on the front. And then you just, you can flip through them, right? If you're looking at them from here, right, you can see enough of the game to, uh, <laughs> to be able to look at them without taking them out. Oops, wrong way. Sorry, everything's backwards. So this game has wicked slowdown. I had forgotten about that. I was playing this uh, a couple days ago. Wow, the slowdown on that thing is bad. So I might stick with one of the PS2 or PSP or something like the I mean, compilation ones. Okay, and then this is from the same trip to Hard Off. Yeah, okay, so that, not that box. I ordered that from somebody. Um, but that arcade stick, the one that I just showed you, uh, came from Hard Off. The arcade stick that I didn't buy was also that trip. It would have been a a lot to carry because it was in that big old box. I also, I already had this and I've shown it in a video before, this monitor, but I I found this PS2 for 30 bucks uh, and it's really white and nice and it was just the machine and it's probably not the deal of the century, but the one that I had is like perfect and it's it came complete in box and everything and I, I'm really stupid and so I wanted to put it back in the box and just have this one out so I can play it anytime. And so I tested it, it works great. And they have a one week warranty, so I tested it as soon as I got home, all was well. Also on that trip to Hard Off, I actually paid a dollar eighty, I guess, for this. Two hundred yen. Um This is a Nintendo GameCube wallet game wallet, right? And I've just never seen one of these in person before. But it's you know, same idea as this for uh GameCube games. You, yeah, you're good, okay. Just checking on the cats. And I think it only holds, I mean, you could put double up, I guess. Actually, I think you're supposed to double. Are you supposed to double up? You are not supposed to double up. Okay, so it's just, yeah, five, six games. And, uh, actually it doesn't smell that bad. And it has a clip to go on your belt, okay? So you can just clip it and go. And I'm sorry for not looking at the camera. Okay, in this bag... This is actually not from Hard Off. It's from a game store. And so these games weren't stupidly cheap. They were, I guess, okay. And this one still has the price tag on it. I don't know why, because they went to great 
trouble to get the price tag off all the other ones. Maybe because this is paper and they know that I'm very protective of my boxes, because I've been there quite a few times. They just didn't bother, I don't know. But anyway, I'll get it off later. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes PS2 game. And what is it? Modem? Like, set. Never seen it. It was $10. And usually the, just the game costs, I don't know, more than $10. Between 10 usually I think 20 Maybe 15 Something like that. It's not a $10 game in Japan. Uh, and this is the full set. Like, it's got the game and the modem and everything. And I don't know. I think people tend to just not want stuff that takes up a lot of space. And this is something that no one will use now, I guess. So... But to me, it's a novelty, and it's it's kind of fun, you know. And it says, let's go crazy on the side, so that's kind of cool. And uh, I recently sent a copy of uh, this game to someone. So now it's been replaced with a different version. So yay. Next. Okay, this game I actually have... I'm sweating. On the PC. My monster beast gaming PC, but I've been neglecting it the last month or so because... It's been hot, and I've been playing Uncharted. But um, it still gets love, and I love just knowing it's there. And it's worth having a gaming PC just for, this, for the Humble Bundle sales and the Steam sales. It's nuts. Anyway, I had this game, and I bought it because I wanted to test it because a lot of people said that this game graphically is very demanding, and my game is supposed to be my game. My gaming PC is supposed to be amazing, and I wanted to find out if it really was. And it did pretty well. So anyway, I think my wife would enjoy watching me play this. She loved watching me play The Last of Us, and I really liked the bit that I played. I played probably an hour and a half or so of this, and I found it cheap. So I bought it on the inferior to the PS4 Xbox One because, I don't know, I like the Xbox One for some reason, and especially Japanese games for it because they're, it's just so weak in Japan. They're so, it's not doing well at all. Um, and like I said, it was cheap, uh, and in most cases, I'm never going to notice the difference. You know, because it's not like I'm playing them side by side. Plus, I, I can play it in 4K on my computer, so, you know, and, or I could play it in 144 frames per second if I wanted to. So, it's nice to have the contrast with the Xbox One. Uh, which, my cat loves the Xbox One. He loves to sit on it. And then I think these are all Xbox, original Xbox games, and I bought them. Uh, why did I buy them? Some of them because they're, okay, hold on a second. Alright, so first I'll show these, okay, so I'm gonna, maybe not super seriously, but as with the PlayStation 2 in Japan, oh, they have the, no, I can't remember what it's called, the Sega Ages 2500 collection, I think that's right, I would like to get all of those eventually, I have more than half, quite a few, but I haven't made a concerted effort to find them all, you know? Um, and this is a collection for the Xbox. It's the World Collection. So it's basically Western games, and they, they print Japanese manuals, but the games are still in English. So I just think that's kind of interesting. So we have uh, Hunter, the Reckoning Redeemer. See, they all say World Collection, and they have a, that spine. Ah... Uh, Game with you, no Kaiwaya game. Yeah, everything's in English. That's kind of the point. They just call it the World Collection because they reckon English doesn't get in the way. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Next one, this one I probably would have bought regardless, but I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> wow, sorry. Return to Castle Wolfenstein Tides of War. Whenever I sneeze, my cat does that because he's like worried that I'm gonna die, I think. Are you okay? Uh, this one says Kizu Ari which means it's got some scratches, but it doesn't really. Uh, and it was like less than a dollar, I think. I don't remember, a dollar or two maybe. But it's a baseball game inside Pitch 2003, but it's part of this series, so. And then this one, Dead Man's Hands. I don't know if any of these games are any good, and but they were cheap, and I just thought this would be fun. I love these going for little mini collections like this, you know? Uh, I don't know how many of these there are, maybe 20 or something, but... Yeah, that'll be fun to collect for. Whatever, call me crazy. Next, I bought this just because it was wicked cheap, and it's a racing game, and I like racing games, so there you go. And I hadn't seen it before, 
Doesn't mean it's rare. Just hadn't seen it. Circus Drive. Yeah. Whatever. Uh huh. And this is one that I've been wanting for a long time. Never got around to buying it because it's. I guess that picked my cats up. What's happening? Right, that was my alarm going off at 11.40 p.m. to remind me to, <laughs> to do something on this um, iOS game that I have, the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I play it every day with my wife, and I've spent money on it, so sometimes I forget to do something that I have to do before midnight, and it pisses me off. So now I have an alarm that goes off every day at 11.45 p.m. to remind me, but I've done it, so I'm good. Anyway, I was saying that I have this game on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. This is the Xbox version, Ninja Gaiden Black. Um, but I have the right normal Ninja Gaiden, but this one just... I don't know, I feel like you have to have this in your Xbox collection. And it's still not cheap. Like, this game is still 15, 20, 25 bucks in Japan. I think I paid 15 maybe for it, but... I don't know, I really like to support this store, and this one's in good shape, so now I finally have it. The main Xbox game that I want now that I don't, well, I have Panzer Dragoon Orta, but I don't have the manual. Like, that's the main thing. Okay, here's another one. I may have overpaid for this, I'm not sure. Recently, when I'm at a game store, I haven't been so good about looking stuff up. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't ridiculous. It was a lot cheaper than buying a new game, so. There you go, Cyvariar Extend Edition. It's got this super slipcase is in decent shape. Uh, it opens up like this. And I think this is a... I don't know what that is. Anyway, you can do this. Make it into some kind of a display. This is postcards which haven't been opened. Yay for that. And then... Okay, so that does that. The game itself, I think... Yeah, it just comes out here. And it should be in really good shape because it's been in this box, this slipcase. Yeah, and it's pretty much scratch-free, so yay for that. When you open that up, it's just uh, the game and the manual and the, the brochures. And I think it's got some Xbox Live something from back in the day. It's even still got the scratch-off. <laughs> uh, two, two months free campaign so yeah this is a, a you can play xbox live well it could um for two months for free now they give you what is it 48 hours two days that's a bit of a difference right so yay um yeah i'll put this back later because i'm just going on and on i showed that i showed that um a few other things actually i'm getting down to the end here some uh okay i bought these fairly recently just because I wanted to have boxes. I'm not necessarily trying to get a full shooter collection for the NES. I would like to eventually have one, but to me, that genre really came into its own with the 16-bit generation. However, some of the great ones are on the 8-bit. You've got Crisis Force. Uh, for me, Gyrus is one of the greats, and the Nintendo version is excellent. Uh, but I have both of those boxes, so hey. <laughs> but really, 16-bits... Anyway... I really like having them boxed, and when I find a decent deal on them, I grab them. So this is Fantasy Zone, which I like, but it's just not one of my favorites because it doesn't, it's not force scrolling or going back and forth, and I don't know. I used to love uh, Defender and Defender 2, so this is cute, so whatever. And then here we have, this is a cute em up that I really love. Like, it's awesome, and this is Parodius Da for the, both of these are Famicom games. And, you know, they're just tiny little boxes, and they're so cute. So, there you go. I don't know if I have Twin B boxed, but I want to get that if I don't. And then this game, I, I just overpaid. I just, plain and simple, I overpaid for it. I got excited about it, and the staff lady, she's also really helpful usually, and, and nice, shows me stuff that... Is, hasn't been put out for sale yet, and stuff like that. So it's hard for me kind of to say no to her, too a degree uh, and 
gonna kill you, mosquito. Um, I got bitten today by a mosquito right there, so I'm out for revenge, bloodlust. Anyway, so this game is getting more expensive now. It's a um, IREM game. They made R-Type and some other stuff. I mean, a lot of other stuff, but I'm an R-Type fan, okay? And it it looks good, the screenshots and stuff. And I just was like, okay, I gotta have this. So it's a box and complete, and everything inside's really nice. The box got some warping, but yeah, I overpaid by 15 bucks or so. Anyway, I think I paid $50 for this. Gun Force. Gun Force. It's called Gun Force. And I was like, it's an IREM, so somewhat lesser known running gun. How can it be that bad? You know what I mean? Like, it just must have... Whatever. It's pretty bad. It's funny. Like, the jump control is very floaty, and that's bad. Uh, the character design is a lot of the same characters. Uh, that's bad. The music isn't very good. The boss battle, I mean, it's just on and on. If you read reviews of this, they're pretty harsh. But despite all of that, and maybe it's because I spent 50 bucks on it, despite all of that, I started enjoying it as I played it. Now, one review I read was saying that the third level is just ridiculous because you don't know if you're going to land on a platform or not. And I, I only spent probably 20 minutes or half an hour with this, but I enjoyed it. So, I don't know. <laughs> that was, you know, you can't win them all, and that was me not winning. I should have gone for a loose cart, you know, and paid 15, 10 or 15 bucks or whatever for this, but I've got a complete in box now. And hello, I almost dropped it. Okay, now some stuff that, uh, yeah, there's a game for the Famicom. It's a puzzle platformer. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's not a very common game. It's not a very cheap game. I can't find the place to open it. So, I want to show you the cartridge. But, I can't find the tape. There it is. Okay. This would be one of the, if not the most, I don't know, one of the more valuable games in my uh, Famicom collection. And I, wow, the box is in really minty condition. Now I own it. So, and I've had this for months and months. I just, I don't think I've ever shown it. So, and then everything's got plastic around it because this game's, you know, one of those games. So there you go. And I will play that. But then I'll have to take the plastic off. So I might just emulate it, honestly. I don't know. One of these days I'll be like, nah, screw that. I'm taking the plastic off. But for now, I like the plastic. I like the plastic. That's what she said. Um... Cats don't like the plastic, though. Look at that. All right, so there's that. And then I have this box of loose carts, and I don't think I've shown these. And I just had them out because I was uh, playing around with my Retron 5. So I'm pretty sure I haven't shown these. If I have any of them, sorry. This is Sagaya for the Game Boy, and it's got writing on the back. But I got these four carts for, like, I don't know, cheap. This is Choplifter 2. Initial D, and then random game. I don't give a crap about SD Gundam something. Anyway, I got these four for like eight bucks or something. Shipped. And then random Famicom card. I don't even know why that's in there. Hyper Olympic. And then here's an old Gradius, munted Gradius card. And that's not what I'm trying to show you. Here's some that I picked up. I don't know, some recently and some not. But just that I wanted to, uh, to play. And I think I didn't get around to playing most of them because I ran out of time. And here's Red Do Arima 2. Okay, so that's a spin off of the uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts series on the Famicom. And what else do we have? Here's the Japanese version of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I have the gold cart somewhere. Don't know if I've ever shown that. I don't think it's complete, I think it's just the cart. Uh, May, May Kujima, which, this is a, it's kind of a puzzle game, I forget where I saw this, but I was watching a video, it might have been a game sack video, I can't remember, but it's, it was a video talking about some Japanese games that you should check out, and this is one of them, it's got screenshot on the back, and 
that squeaking is this chair rubbing against the sofa. Sorry. This is what is this? Boulder Dash, and I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has got some serious fading. But there you go, Boulder Dash. And this is not pickle. This is lickle. And I really wish that I had bought this a lot sooner because it's just gone nuts price-wise because everybody wants a little Samson and they can't get it so they buy the Japanese version which is this not nearly as hard to find but yeah it's expensive so I just got a loose cart a few years ago I could have got it complete for 50 bucks well a few years ago five ten years ago I don't know but now mm -mm. but yeah you know, I had to have it so next is this is another one that's gone up in price metal storm I have the NES version, I wanted the Famicom one, I don't remember which I got first. This game's pretty cool, another IREM game. If you don't know, you can uh, you can go along bang 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 and then you can switch the gravity so that you're hanging upside down, bang bang bang, and it's, it's a well designed, I think, um, pretty tight game. What are you? Oh, of course I won't remember how to say this. Damn it. I hate it when this happens, and I can't, how am I supposed to read that? It's like a kanji, but it's got a hammer in the middle of it. So what's that supposed to be representing? That's just irritating. There's a one and a two, and I don't remember if I have the second one. <laughs> Damn it. This game... Well, wow, there's stickers all over it, too. Jerks. Anyway, this... I believe this is kind of a puzzle platformer. I'm mad right now. Oh, well. And what else do we have here? This one, I paid 600 yen for, I saw it and I was like, I need that. This is, I think was on someone's video of underrated, uh, this might have been a game straighty one, I'm not sure, underrated NES games, Tiny Toon Adventures. Someone I think was saying it's his favorite platformer after Super Mario 3 or maybe before, I'm not sure. I think that's this one, but I'm not sure. But I figure for five bucks, I'll make sure I have it. Here is Snow Brothers, another puzzle platformer. Relatively hard to get. It's still a playing game, too. Here's a little game called Rekka. Um, it's a shooter. It pushed the Famicom to its absolute limits. It wasn't released in for the NES. The only repros exist for that. Cart's in pretty much perfect condition, but no box or manual. Uh -huh. Some of these games are stupid valuable, but I'm not going to go on about that. Donald Land. And this I got for three dollars, Terra Cresta. And again, wicked faded label. I think maybe I have this already, but I wanted to have it again for three dollars, or maybe I don't. I don't know. Anyway, I thought this game was worth three dollars, so I bought it. And that I think is enough. I think I showed you enough. I think you got your your money's worth, maybe not your time. Right. I didn't even finish one beer in this video. Anything after this is not pickups, it's just me rambling, so if you watch this far and you're only interested in pickups, feel free to tune out. Okay, so what can I ramble about so I can make this take forever to down, uh, upload? Oh, so many things. My wife and I are married. <laughs> uh, I just looked at something and it brought it to mind. She wanted to get, uh, since the recent earthquakes in um, Kumamoto, my Kyushu, She's been kind of worried about that, so we bought a sort of evacuation kit backpack thing, and it's got, you know, food for a week and water and all kinds of stuff. And then we've got this little, I'm looking at it, this little flashlight thing. Hold on a second. Ugh! And it's, you know, you, you turn this, make it go, and you can use it to charge your phone. And I don't know. I don't even know how to use it yet. Okay, so... I'm not really out this one. Anyway, it works. We tested it. It's got a radio USB port. So, and a rate. Yeah, I said radio. So there's that. We need to put that in there. So that's something. What else? Uh, planning to get rid of the sofa, get rid of the entertainment center, and get other ones. But who knows when that'll actually happen. Um, I want to take those to the other house, but they're so big, getting them there might be a, an issue. Getting me there is an issue at the moment. I have friends coming to visit from Okinawa, that black 
thing as the reader board on the other side of well it says welcome something family and then we found out they might not even be able to come in the house because the wife is so allergic to cats sorry uh their family deal with it what else uh, huh. i don't know how to save money and i don't believe in it really honestly i mean to a point i i do but i don't want to go on about that but i mentioned the ipad pro earlier I really want it. I want that big screen, but I kind of want to wait until the next one comes out, but that might be more than a year. Anyway, over there I have a little coin bank and the Japanese um, coins, there's a 500 yen coin, which is, you know, four or five bucks, depending on the exchange rate. And uh, I think I can show you one, maybe. Yeah, it's about the size of a quarter. It says uh, 500 on it. And whenever I get these, and sometimes I make sure that I do, you know, I pay just the right amount so that I have it in the change, I put it in that little coin bank. And when that thing's full, I'm going to have like a thousand bucks. And I might end up not spending it, honestly, because I'm still really happy with my iPad Air. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun to slowly work toward something instead of just blowing, you know, the cash. So that's, that's something new for me. I've never really done that before. I mean, not like that, not for something like that. Um, there's so many things to talk about, honestly, I don't even know. Uh, what else? It's getting hot. I mean, it's 31 degrees Celsius in May. It sucks. That's really hot. Um, so we cleaned the air conditioner the other day. Yesterday, actually. That's fun. Um, I'm talking about cleaning the air conditioner. This is probably not a good sign. Mmm! Okay, well, if you're still here, you've earned this. Hold on. So, uh, a local store, my wife likes to frequent, uh, they have good deals on stuff sometimes, had these t-shirts, and they're awesome, of course they only have up to LL, which is XL, but Japanese XL, so I'd say that's like a, between medium and large in the US. They have these shirts, check these shirts out, I had her buy them because I'm planning to do a giveaway, because I'm like, I can't not have someone enjoy these shirts. They are 15 bucks each. But people are already trying to sell them online for 25 or 30 bucks each, even here in Japan, because not everybody knows about you know where you can go buy them for 15 bucks. So there's a, obviously a Dreamcast one, and I I did try one on when I was clean and not sweaty, and I can wear it, but it looks like I'm trying to show off my guns, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> I'm just it's not comfortable, you know what I mean? So I just you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean burn right. I, I can't have it. Now I said, yeah, if you lost some weight, even if I lost weight, it's still going to be tight. Watch this one. And it's even got the gold touch on the back where it says 16 bit. I really want to wear these, but they're just too small. And the last one, keeping with the Sega theme, is. They didn't have a Master System one. Or like a Mark III. Whoa, what's happening with focus? What's going on? There we go. That's better. Sorry. I think it's the, the lights are too bright or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, it's the contrast of the black and my white, white face. Anyway, there's that. So these are all obviously awesome. And I'm planning to give them away. I, I don't feel obligated to do giveaways or anything, but I think it'd be fun. With the caveat that they're not very big, right? So like this shirt that's loose on me would be... 3 or 4 XL in Japan. Well, 4L. Um, whatever. So those are those. So you can throw it in the comments if you watch this far. What would be a good idea? I'm not guaranteeing that I'll take your advice, but what would be a way to do a contest to give these away? I'll probably call it the Great Soft Otaku T-Shirt Giveaway. Something like that. Um, and it's fun to ask a question and make people answer them. Of course, video responses are fun, but I don't know if that's a thing so much these days. Beats me. I just showed a whole bunch of crap, so that should last another month. I try to put up a video at least once a month. Um, so you could, you know, it's too late to tell you this now, but you could watch like 10 minutes a week and 15 minutes a week. I don't know how long it is. And there you go. That's more than enough of me to go around. Holy crap, that was long. Right. Um, it's only midnight. Maybe I'll play some Uncharted. I got to play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes because I have two, two characters that if I get one more shard... I can give them another star and they'll be much stronger. But I have to play a lot so I can get enough money 
to pay to promote them. <sighs> or I'll just go to bed. That's another possibility. So get this. I took the weekend off, right? Which I, I mean, I work like every day, literally, unless I have something important and then like I'm, I need the time off. And then I can get it off. Knowing that I can usually get the time off makes it okay to work every day. Plus the fact that I do three totally different jobs. All of them, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this weekend I took off. But the same company from which I took that time off has a business meeting. I didn't, they hadn't scheduled it yet when I took the time off or asked for it tomorrow. So even though I have the day off, I still have to go to that company's business meeting, which means I can't spend the evening with my friends. But the thing is, maybe that's okay because they want to go to Himeji Castle, which bless their hearts. That's great. That's a place you should go if you visit this area of Japan. I was just there like a month ago. A month and a half, two, two months ago, let's say. And uh, yeah, once is enough for a lifetime for me. But um, yeah, anyway, enough. I have beer to be drunk and games to put away before the cats do stuff. I don't know. Look. It's coming in for the kill. What do you have? What do you have? I want to get it. I want to get it. I want to get it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.